Hello, ho, bros. Aztec here. And I'm in here in the uh, Tower of Lazard Valleth, soloing the fight, essentially. Uh, one of my buddies has an account that didn't quite have the gear or units to beat this fight because he's such a low rank. So I decided to figure out a way to get him that sweet sword, the Angel's Slayer, because he does have units that could essentially utilize it. His cloud, his cloud is now up to like 1148 or so. So I jumped him huge. Anywho, I put this, uh, I made, uh, geared out this Lilith and she has a hundred, uh, fire, ice, lightning, light, and dark. All right. So this is a gear that I put on her. Essentially not super well, but you know, still somewhat budget. If you can pull it off, pull it off. But if you have this gear, I'm sure you can take care of this fight as is. So very first turn. I hit that use of Tome Alchemy. Just so at this 60% that we're at now, he can't do much to us, all right? So, and I've already done the two Espers. Essentially, I don't have any uh, any way of fast-forwarding the video because I'm doing this on my phone. And all I'm doing is life-stealing doing this very last this uh, serpent kiss of midnight essentially dual casting it because it's as a uh, life steal basically But every every turn the uh, the fire and peril comes off. You know, I, I just switch and put a fire and peril again. Just to quicken the DPS. It's another reason why I started this video at such a low health. As you can see the uh, physical damage that's being done. Um, just gets replenished and I'm doing about two to three percent uh, each turn so it is a uh, you know tasking you know time consuming but if you don't have the units to do it again I don't mind setting up a unit to help you guys finish this fight just uh, leave a comment down below with your uh, player ID and name. And I'll uh, send that invite as soon as I can and notify you. Again, I did already cast my two aspers. The missions are no items, two aspers, and defeat with the limit burst. And that's going to be done very easily. So the uh, fire and peril is gone. I'll add it again. You can either do fire or dark. The move I'm essentially uh, spamming uh, does both fire and dark. I think that other move might even have a better better attack but this one gives us full health every turn
And essentially, I'm waiting to about... 2% or so. Let's do this. Let's do this limit break. Yeah, about 2%. Her limit break, I don't have it maxed out, so it's not doing that much damage. I don't see the reason to max out a tank's uh, limit break. So I, I didn't do it. I mean... I'd understand if it was like a massive hard hitting attack. As a matter of fact, I do have the limit break, uh, the burst spots. I might do it. But in this video, I don't have it maxed out. So we're just going to wait for it to hit about 2%. I'll be happy with 2%. And again, we're taking about 2% health each, uh, each turn. We're resisting all elemental attacks. The only things that are hitting us is uh, his non-elemental magic attacks and his physical attacks. We have su such high spirit that not much damage is being done by the magic attacks, but those physical attacks are uh, are hitting pretty hard. See, that 230 was a magic attack that was done. The 1700 was a physical attack. <laughs> I think it's uh, almost dinner time. Just getting off work. Figured I'd uh, record this and uh, post it for you guys. I only did a single one there because she doesn't have a chance to retaliate. And I have seen her take about a thousand, at least one percent, one to two percent each time she retaliates. So here's a limit break finish. There you go. Got it done with one unit. Yeah, it's not budget. But it's your friend unit if you want it. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. If you still haven't, hit that bell to get notified of any new content. Like this video here. I am going to put it on the wiki, but it would be faster if you uh, just hit that bell. Right? Anyway, share the video if you haven't. If you liked it. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed. Y'all have a good night. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.